hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use the digital ink recognition feature of ml kit uh, in a native ios application so i'll just ignore this for now so in a native ios application so let's get started so first of all i will tell you what exactly we are doing if in case if you don't know digital uh, ink recognition so uh, there are different uh, digital ink models which are provided by ml kit so here you can go to the documentation and here you can see that uh, there are different uh, models provided so these are the different models currently i am using this emoji model so this one so if you see my code i'm hard coding this but if you want you can create an uh, a drop down kind of sorts so that you don't have to hard code it uh, but anyways so here you can see i have four buttons download delete recognize and clear uh, and suppose i am uh, using this uh, emoji model right so first of all i will have to click on the download button once i click on it uh, if i show you the okay i'll have to run rerun my application sorry about this because once the download is completed i'm printing it to the console but you can display it inside a ui label as well if you want to so here you can see uh, here it can see it is a message selected language okay that's fine uh, but if i click on the download button uh, here you can see the message model is already downloaded okay but uh, if you are downloading it for the first time this might take little bit of time so the model is already downloaded now what i'll do is i will draw some emoji so the top black uh, face which screen which you see is actually an image view uh, uh, like the documentation is using image view i'm not sure why they are not using a canvas but any which ways so i will draw some face so here you can see i'm uh, drawing it with my fingers so i have drawn this face now i will click on the recognize button and here you can see it is able to recognize what i have drawn like actually i was trying to draw the smiley face but yeah anyways it's pretty uh, pretty accurate i would say if i want to clear it i can just click on the clear button uh, so this is for emoji there are a lot of uh, different uh, things which you can do like you can use shapes as well so i'll quickly show you the shapes one as well so all you have to do is just replace this uh, I think it's better if you take a drop down or a select drop down or a picker what you whatever you call it in iOS uh, So I'll just uh, re like rerun this app So I have not tried this yet even in my debugging uh, thing So what I'll do is now I'll just click on the uh, download button So I have clicked on the download button and here you can see the model was downloaded So it was pretty quick now for shapes. I will just draw. I don't know a square I guess and i'll click on recognize okay it is saying rectangle but anyways fine it is i i think it, it did a good job uh next if you there are different languages as well so suppose if you want to so here in this you will have to use this language code don't uh, hard code this you will have to use the language code so for english it is en uh, you can check the documentation if you want to i already know that uh, so i'll just enter en let me quickly show it to you as well in case so here you can see english and it is en that's why i have entered en over here now if you see this particular output uh, so here is our download so i'll click on the download button and here you can see model is down it's better you display this inside a label or something and here i'll just say hi let's see what it does so yeah it was pretty good in recognizing okay i have said hi so yeah that's it that's what we will be doing so let's get started so firstly uh, create a native ios application i am using ui kit but if you want you can use swift ui as well then you will have to create a pod file using pod in it so just go to your ios project in terminal and uh, type pod in it you will have to install coco pods for this then uh, you will have to install your open your pod file so this is my pod file and here i have inst uh, i have written this pod google ml kit digital ink recognition dependency and then you will have to close xcode go to your terminal uh, cd to your ios project and uh, type pod space install and it will install all the dependencies then you will have to open the xc workspace inside xcode so everyone already knows all this stuff then i have created two swift files so first is recognized ink so this i have just copy pasted it from the documentation this will help us to recognize uh, what a user has uh, displayed okay so you can just copy paste this particular code uh, just import ml kit 
नेक्स्ट इज द स्ट्रोक मैनेजर अगेन आई हैव कॉपी पेस्टेड दिस कोड फ्रॉम डॉक बट आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन एज मच एज आई कैन सो फर्स्ट ईयर वी आर टेकिंग वन प्रोटोकॉल फॉर क्लियरिंग रीड्रॉइंग और डिस्प्लेइंग अ मैसेज आई हैव इम्पोर्टेड एम एल किट एज वेल एज यू आई किट देन ईयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन स्ट्रोक मैनेजर ईयर इज एन एरिया ऑफ रेकग्नाइज डिंग देन ईयर इज द कन्वर्जन फैक्टर विच इज द यूनिट यूज बाय रेकग्नाइजर ईयर वी आर यूज टू कीप द पीस ऑफ इंग दैट इज करेंटली बीन ड्रॉन ओके सो दिस टू एंड रेकग्नाइजर दैट विल हेल्प ट्रांसलेट द इंग इन टू टेक्स स्ट्रोक मैनेजर डेलीगेट फॉर हैंडलिंग द यू आई स्टफ सो दिस देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू इट यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी पेज दिस कोड लाइक दिस इज बॉयर प्लेट कोड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू देर इज नॉट मच टू एक्सप्लेन लाइक हियर वेदर द लैंग्वेज इज डाउनलोडेड वॉट लैंग्वेज आई डी यू हैव सिलेक्टेड लाइक आई शोन यू राइट आई सिलेक्टेड इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आई सिलेक्टेड दैट शेप लैंग्वेज और इमोजी लैंग्वेज here it is downloading that particular model once it is downloaded it gives us a call back in case if you want to delete a model from your cache you can do that you can recognize an ink so once the recognize button is called this particular things get get called so you can just copy paste this all code like this is pretty boilerplate code in case of clear we are clearing out everything then this is for start stroke at point this is for continue stroke and this is for end stroke so you can copy paste all this code Uh, next we'll go to our view controller so firstly i have imported ml kit uh, then i have taken the brush width as 2.0 change it to whatever you feel like all language id is i don't think i'm really using this yeah i'm not really using this this is actually for used for displaying the picker in case if you want to show all the languages id i think i'm not even using this language tag display name as well so i can ignore this default language also i'm not using like i have copy pasted a lot of code from docs that's why then here we are creating our stroke manager and this is for last point i'll come back to this link later on then here i have created our image view um, uh, for uh, recognizing and this is for drawing our image view so these two image views are on top of each other okay uh, so that's why uh, there is no differentiation then i have taken four button download delete recognize and clear then here we are initializing our stroke manager and here you can pass whatever language id you want to then i have just assigned some ns layout constraints uh, set, set some titles to our button uh, set some background color added it all the our image view as well as button to our view and i have added some click listeners to our button then i have added ns layout constraints to our image view as well as all the buttons so you can just copy paste it then here we are overriding the touch begins so this will help us uh, to draw over the canvas so there are three methods for this touch begins touch moved and touch ended you can just copy paste it uh, and this is this is an important so th this 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 uh, displays all the message like the model has been downloaded uh, the model is already downloaded or it is downloading so here you can if you are taking one label you can just update the text of the label in this particular method this is for clearing our uh, whatever we have drawn this is for redrawing uh this is for uh, draw line segment so again i have just copy pasted it from the documentation uh, you can do the same from my code so in case of clear button clicked we are just uh, clearing out everything and we are calling the message which we have def defined inside our stroke manager similarly for recognize button click we are just calling recognizing for delete button click we are calling delete model for download button click we are just calling download model and here we just call draw ink so here again same thing i have just copy pasted it from docs even i am not good at this we are just passing our drawn image view uh, so it handles everything for us then we just call recognized image view and this is get incorrect again copied it from docs even i am not really sure about this and this is for drawing text so again copy pasted copy pasted it from the docs so yeah that's it now if you uh, again you can't run it on a simulator you will face lot of issues you will have to run it on a real ios device and uh, suppose if you face an issue something like this while running that sandbox r sync i face this issue a lot so what you will have to do is you will have to go to build settings so just go to your project go to uh, here go to build settings and here you can just search for no not default language you can just search for what this enable user scripting sandbox and you will have to make this as no i'm not really sure what this does but uh, i think this is an ml kit issue uh, but not really sure whether it is an issue or not 
or whether it is an xcode issue but just make it as no in case if you are facing this particular issue so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye